This lesson will demonstrate how to factor trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, and specifically when the coefficient of x squared is not 1. This procedure actually will work if, if a was 1, but if a is 1 there is a simpler, more direct way of factoring ax squared plus bx plus c. Now this is similar to factoring a trinomial if the coefficient of x squared is 1. Uh, in the first example, uh, we're asked to factor 6x squared plus 11x plus 4, and you still look for two numbers that add to this coefficient. They still have to add to 11 in this case. But instead of just multiplying to 4, since the coefficient of x squared is not 1, I see if the coefficient was 1, 1 times 4 would still be 4. But since the coefficient here is 6, the two numbers you're looking for add to 11, and they multiply to the product of 6 and 4 which of course is 24. Now there's lots of factors of 24, uh, for example 1 and 24, but they don't add to 11. Um, 6 and 4, 6 and 4 multiplied by 24, but again they don't add to 11. The numbers that we would need would be 3 and 8. They multiply to 24 and they add to 11. Now what you do with the 3 and the 8 is we rewrite this trinomial with the quadratic term the same, but instead of the 11x, we break that down into 3x plus 8x. That's what the 3 and 8 are used for. The 4 in the end still stays the same. So I'm rewriting this with the 11x changed into 3x plus 8x. And now what you do is you look at what's the common factor in the first two terms and then also in the last two terms. So you're factoring a common factor of the first two and the last two always. And in the first two terms, the common factor is 3x. So we can factor 3x of the first two terms. The last two terms have a common factor of 4. So doing that common factoring, uh, 3x divided into 6x squared is 2x, and 3x factored out of 3x is a plus 1 in the end. 4 can factor it here, so 8x with 4 factored out is 2x, and again 4 divided by 4 gives you a plus 1 in the end. Now notice what's in the brackets is the same. And that's a good thing. If it isn't the same, then you've made a mistake. Perhaps you chose the wrong numbers over here. Perhaps they didn't add to 11, for example. Or you got factors that weren't factors of 24. So if these are the same, you can factor a 2x plus 1 out of this. And what's left then is 3x plus 4. And so 2x plus 1 and 3x plus 4 are the factors of 6x squared plus 11x plus 4. Remember, you can always check any factoring by expanding back. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. This product, 3x, and the 2x and 4 multiplied 8x, see 3x and 8x is 11x, and then 1 times 4 gives you that 4 in the end. So these are certainly the factors of the original trinomial. So the procedure, and this isn't the only way to factor a trinomial of this form, but this is the one we're going to focus on in this lesson. To factor ax squared plus bx plus c, you search for two numbers that add to b, and multiply to the product of a and c. And then use those two numbers to break the bx term down into two different terms, and then you factor by grouping. In example number two, we're asked to factor 5x squared plus 7x minus 6. And so we search for two numbers that add to 7 and have a product of negative 30. 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. And again, there's lots of factors in negative 30. Notice the uh, product is negative here, so the two numbers you're looking for, one's positive and one's negative. They do, however, add to a positive value, so that means that the larger number must be positive. And so we could search for lots of factors. For example, uh, 5 and negative 6, they do multiply to negative 30, but they certainly don't add to 7. And in fact, actually, to try it, actually, would be negative 5 and positive 6, I suppose, but it still doesn't add to 7. The numbers that you need are actually 10 and negative 3. 10 and negative 3 do multiply to negative 30, and they do add to positive 7. And so we rewrite the original trinomial. The 5x squared is the same, but in place of the 7x, we write, we change it into 10x minus 3x. There's the 10 and the negative 3, and then minus 6 in the end. And the common factor in the first two terms is 5x. We can factor a 5x of the first two. Now, notice the third term when you're thinking about the factoring the last two terms. The third term is negative here. And if it's negative, then you factor a negative common factor of the last two terms. And it doesn't matter. If this was positive, you'd still factor a negative out if that sign's negative. So we can factor a negative 3 out of the last two terms. So factoring a 5x out of the first two, 5x squared divided by 5x is 1x, and 10x divided by 5x is 2. 
negative 3x divided by negative 3 is 1x, and negative 6 divided by negative 3 is plus 2. Notice again what's in the brackets is the same. So we common factor now a, an x plus 2 out of the first two terms, and the other factor will be 5x minus 3. And so you could check these should multiply to give you 5x squared plus 7x minus 6.